Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, I'm a big fan of the soybean. Soybeans contain unique substances called isoflavones, most notably genistein and diadzine, which have been shown to block the buildup of the dangerous type of testosterone in the prostate gland that's linked to prostate enlargement and prostate cancer. Now, soy isoflavones have also been shown to exert a multitude of other anti-cancer effects in the prevention of various other types of cancer as well. This is especially true for the soy isoflavone known as genistein. Remember that name, genistein. We're going to see it. Now, soy intake has also been shown to help lower cholesterol, especially when substituted in the diet for high-fat animal products. And genistein found in those soy products is also a very potent antioxidant. Now, a, a very important study was published in the journal Clinical Nutrition in August of 2018, showing that supplementation with genistein derived from soybeans improved blood sugar regulation, lowered triglycerides, and reduced inflammation in patients with prediabetes who also had fatty liver problems, a condition known as NASH, or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. This occurs in sort of type 2 diabetics, pre-diabetics, people who are overweight, they often develop fatty liver problems at the same time. Now these patients all had high blood sugar, high triglyceride levels, and high levels of blood markers of inflammation and free radical damage at the outset of the study. So the study involved 82 subjects with pre-diabetes and fatty liver problems, half of whom ingested 250 milligrams of genistein as a supplement for eight weeks, so for two months, and the other half ingested the placebo in this double-blind clinical trial that was randomized. Now after eight weeks, the study clearly showed that the patients ingesting the genistein supplement had improved blood sugar regulation lower triglyceride levels, as well as lower markers of inflammation and less free radical damage. They also had a reduction in their belly fat and a decrease in their percentage body fat. These are all remarkable outcomes from simply ingesting 250 milligrams of genistein each day for only two months. So here's my take. It may not be necessary to ingest genistein supplements to improve all these health parameters. You can easily acquire 50 to 75 milligrams of soy isoflavones a day on average by just regularly consuming soy and soy-based foods such as edamame, roasted soy nuts, tofu, miso, tempeh, textured vegetable protein which you can use to make uh, you know, uh, meat sauces and in cabbage rolls and uh, in you know, lasagnas. You can use textured vegetable protein as a meat substitute. Also soy cheeses and the like. Using these foods to replace high fat animal protein foods such as red meat, pork, high fat dairy products, goat based cheeses has been shown to improve blood cholesterol and is associated with reduction in risk of certain cancers. So if you do this over a long enough period of time, you'll accumulate significant benefits from the soy isoflavone ingestion, including getting genistein into your body as it accumulates in key body tissues. Now, if you have fatty liver problems and or you're a pre-diabetic or a type 2 diabetic, then also taking a genistein supplement is something you may want to consider after sharing this research with your doctor. So I've included the study reference in the text below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.